We're here at Watts Learning Center, bringing my presentation called I Believe to the students here. This project is inspired by the music of Margaret Bonds, Duke Ellington, William Grant Still, and other great black American composers, specifically the music of Margaret Bonds and her Credo, which she wrote in 1964, inspired on her end by the words of the author W.E.B. Du Bois. We're celebrating Black History Month and we're celebrating the diversity in classical music. And even more, we're celebrating the power of self-expression. We formed the school in 1997. We felt it nurturing and high quality uh, teaching that children could have a better outcome and as a result of that, have a better quality of life. I came to Watts Learning Center to share Margaret Bond's music and her message, asking students to write their own credos. I wanted to find out their most important values and beliefs. People have the right to be respected for their beliefs and have the right to choose their own goals and path. I feel that everyone is human, so as God planned, everyone should have the right to do the same thing as others and be treated equally. I believe in equal education because it doesn't matter about the race and background. Everyone is still a person trying to learn and become successful. I am so moved by the courage of kids and their ability to dream big and to imagine something better in their future and for the future of the world. Being in a school gym full of kids who are listening to this music for the first time, who are really on a voyage of discovery, it's something that's just thrilling to me every time it happens. These kids often don't have the opportunity to experience classical music in an intimate setting like this, and I think it's so important for them to open their minds and the hearts to the true diversity and beauty that lives in this music. I'd like to thank uh, KUSC for coming into the community and exposing our children to the classical music. There's an improvement in the quality of life by appreciating the things that are around them. I think these kids learned today that classical music is not what they thought it was. They heard music by African-American composers who lived right here in Los Angeles, whose lives and whose work reflects their own experience. I hope that they will tune into the radio and show up in concert halls uh, in the future.